Alrighty, uh, this is a quick recap of the trading day for February 4th, 2022, Friday option expiration day. We started off the uh, day going over the NASDAQ uh, daily chart here. Uh, we're at a very important level right here with this candle. Uh, yesterday I had said uh, because the filter had crossed below the zero line that three potential scenarios uh, were possible. Uh, the NASDAQ was going to test the uh, 410 level again and it would either sink uh, within this um, demand zone here or it would touch and slinky up or it would continue just trading sideways for the next days to come. So we're yet to see if it's going to continue trading sideways uh, between Monday and Friday next week but it did touch the 410 level and it did slinky up right there and uh, that's all the action that took place uh, in the daily uh, today. Uh, very important chart uh, to keep an eye on. On the five minute, uh, we had little consolidation today. We didn't have as much consolidation as we had in the previous four days, uh, as denoted by the white bars right here. This represents areas of consolidation when the market's in chop, just basically moving sideways. It did break up right here uh, uh, shortly before the 3 p.m. hour. It just went up, but uh, the rally wasn't really sustained, and it just kind of went sideways, and then it rolled back down. Uh, to this level where it's at right now. Um, on the live trading uh, with the algos, within the four standard algos that I showcase, guys, this algo here uh, was the most accurate today of any of the uh, collection of four that I have. Uh, this one alone here was 85% accurate. It had seven winners with a profit factor of over seven. That's that's huge, okay? And net profit of over $12,000 uh, per uh per one contract. That's the way it's uh, programmed, okay, to trade one contract. So these, these figures here are based off of one contract, right? So this performed exceedingly well uh, throughout the uh, course of the trading day today. And in the overnight session, the overnight uh, also performed extremely well too. If you guys want to take the time and do the math, uh, go right ahead. 5 a.m. in the morning, uh, till about 9.15 in the morning, you had a huge drawdown that was perfectly nailed by this algo. You guys do the math and find out exactly how many points uh, that generated. And again, from 9.15 in the morning all the way to the close, it was also another massive winner in the overnight um, algo as well. So this performed very good today uh, too. So uh, on the AI front, I have three AI driven algos. This one here uh, was one of the ones that I actually performed decent today. Uh, it was at a 50% win rate and uh, it generated uh, $5,635 in net profits. Uh, the other AI algo I've got here, um, I had to relaunch this because it was a problem when uh, I, I launched it uh, initially in the morning and when I relaunched it, it finally reset and, and corrected itself with the uh, correct settings for the day. So uh, overall, this one here was 100% accurate, okay? Uh, there, there were no missed signals or bad signals on this whatsoever. A total of 5,775 in net profit, and that means that that's uh, the net profit that you would have made had you got in at the open and followed each one of these signals all the way to the exits, okay? Um, on the experimental front, uh, this algo right here uh, also did uh, relatively well on both the short side and the upside as well. And on the experimental ES algo, uh, this also did uh, well as, uh, as well. So I'm working on these guys uh, to see if I can maybe um, have these as part of the workspace for the uh, coming weeks. That's all I've, I've got for you today. Hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead and I'll see each other. Uh, we'll see each other again Monday at 1230 Eastern time for another fantastic day trading the NASDAQ 100 futures.